Hello, Roger Pizza Jack, and today I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS on the MSI Mag Z690 Tomahawk DDR4 Wi Fi. Now, if you're currently using a 12th gen CPU and you are looking to upgrade to 13th gen Intel CPUs and you're currently running on this motherboard, then this is a step that you will have to take in order to actually run a 13th gen CPU. So it's pretty simple. All we're going to do to start is we're going to go to the support page for the motherboard, which you can find by searching the name of the motherboard and then support or BIOS and then go into the website which looks something like this. So here we've got MSI support page for the Z690 Tomahawk DDR4 Wi-Fi and we're on the BIOS page and the BIOS release we're going to go for is going to be the most recent edition and as you can see we're here we've got some details on here so it's got updates for fine-tuned memory compatibility ready for next-gen CPU, improved compatibility with as media SATA port devices so there will be a couple of notes on there about what the actual update is for. But uh, yeah, this is the most up-to-date one we're going to go for, so we're just going to click download. We're just going to download it and save it to the desktop for now. Okay, so we've got our BIOS update downloaded, and this is the file we're going to need for the update. So what you're going to need is a USB drive formatted to FAT32, and we're just going to copy this across to the USB drive. Cool, so we've got that update onto the USB drive, and next we're going to have to boot into the BIOS for our motherboard. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this. Firstly, we could restart the system and then mash delete. Or instead, we can hold shift and go to restart. And it should prompt us with options to enter the UAFI BIOS manually. So it's given us our Windows boot options now. So what we can do is go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and then UAFI firmware settings. Click restart. And then that'll take us straight into the BIOS for our motherboard. So we're in the BIOS for our motherboard. And what we're going to want to do is go down to mFlash or use USB to flash BIOS. System will auto reboot and enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? Yes, we do. Then the system should reboot for a second and take you into the flash mode. Okay, so we're now in the flash mode. And as you can see on here, it's picked up our USB drive. And it also has spotted the BIOS update that we put on there. So we're going to want to click on that one. Click enter. So the BIOS is updating. And as you can see, you do not want to shut down or restart your system because this can actually brick your motherboard. So just let it do the update. It can take a few minutes, so just let it take its time, and then eventually it should restart and take you back into either Windows or the BIOS. There you go, and now the BIOS update is complete. What you may find is that the system may reboot a couple of times while it works its way through the update, but don't touch it, just let it do its thing, and eventually you should either see the BIOS or get back into Windows. Okay, so we're back in Windows. So what we can do to make sure the BIOS update was a success is to go back into the BIOS and take a look to see if this BIOS version is listed there. So we'll jump back into the BIOS and confirm that our BIOS update actually completed. Here we go. So back in the BIOS now. And if you take a look on here, we can see our BIOS version does match the one we downloaded. So that means that the BIOS update was a success. So now the 13th gen is around the corner. This motherboard should be ready to actually install one of those CPUs. Or there may be some later BIOS revisions that you may need to keep an eye out for. But yeah, that's how to update the BIOS on the MSI Z690 Tomahawk DDR4 Wi-Fi. If you found this video useful, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on the way soon. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at PCJack94. If you like to talk more on myself and other like-minded hardware enthusiasts, then make sure to check out the PCJack Discord. If you like to support the channel even further though, then make sure to check out the PCJack Patreon where you can claim exclusive benefits while helping to fund everything I do on the channel for you guys. You'll find links to all those in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.